Okay, while, while Adela is coming up, uh, a couple of things that I'd like to say. One, um, I'd like to thank very much a gentleman by the name of Edward Gonzalez, and uh, he's the producer of that wonderful film. I'd like to thank him for producing it, and he did that free of charge. And he gave that film to, uh, that video, to uh, St. Unipera Serra Catholic School for a fundraising event not long ago. They, in turn, gave it to us. So we were able to share it with you. That's number one. Number two, um, now that you've seen that and you've heard uh, so many wonderful things, especially from Rand Sperry, um, I think you, you saw someone who exemplifies what a Catholic education is all about. Uh, we want so many others to have that opportunity and so for that reason, I'm looking here for it, here we go. I want all of you to please consider, if you haven't already, uh, finding one of these on your table. There's pens on your table as well. And maybe a short prayer um, for you. You may think about and pray over what you can do for us. Um, I have something else to share with you, but before I do that, Adela Solis is uh, the principal of School of Our Lady, and she has a few things that she'd like to share with you as well. So Adela? Please. Good morning. The video that we just saw shows the reality that I and other principals experience every day. Some will refer to this as a challenge, but as I mentioned on the video, it has been a rewarding experience. It is rewarding because we work with parents who are grateful for this gift of financial assistance that they receive. This assistance allows them to give their children a better life. Enrollment at School of Our Lady has seen an increase every year. Right now we have approximately 200 students with 194 of them receiving some type of financial assistance towards the annual tuition of 4,225. On Sunday we had our open house and registration a single mother of three came in with her own mother. She shared how she wanted her children to be in a school where they could openly share their faith and also be in a safe environment. She came prepared to apply for tuition assistance. She showed us papers that she's receiving food stamps. She's going to apply to receive some kind of child support. Then she took out her rent money. She was going to use her rent money to be able to pay the registration. She didn't know how she was going to be able to make up the difference to pay her rent. But all she knew was that she wanted to ensure that her three children had a spot at our school in September. She wants to give her children a better life. We accepted the registration fee for one student, but we enrolled all three of them. Thanks to the many contributions that you have made, the Marion Alliance schools are thriving. We have a partnership with Notre Dame and the ACE program. We are invested in an innovative technology program and we also have a band. We have also implemented other programs and resources that are giving our students a successful path for their future. Your contributions do make a difference whether it is helping the single mother of three or helping other students in our diocese, every dollar counts. Thank you. I think many of you uh, either saw, read, or heard about Chris Rock at the, uh, the Academy Awards last Sunday. He uh, unashamedly begged the acting community to, and I quote, reach into your pockets and buy some of my daughter's Girl Scout cookies. Well, he even called out some of the actors by name to donate. And at the end of the event, he raised more than $65,000. And he did this in front of 34 million viewers. Well, right now, I'm looking out at close to 1,000 people. And this conference is being uh, viewed live by, hopefully, 
many hundreds others uh, around the world on the internet, not necessarily 34 million, but we're all being viewed right now by our creator and our redeemer. I believe that he wants me to remind you that as a child of God, we're all called to help one another get to heaven. And when you donate to help children attend a Catholic school, you're helping children receive a quality education and you're bringing them closer to Jesus. The contribution that you would make will transform souls. And since this is Lent, uh, fewer calories will be consumed than those delicious cookies. So go ahead and fill it out. Um, and, and please, if, uh, if you haven't yet filled out a pledge card, do so. As Adela said, every dollar counts. And it's, as Father Spitzer said, you know, gratitude and happiness go together. We're except, exceptionally grateful for all of you being here and showing your support and we'll be even happier if we receive a lot of those cards. And maybe, hopefully, after uh, Bishop Barron has finished speaking, we'll be able to give you the full count from the cards, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll beat that $65,000 mark that Chris Rock hit. Um, by the way, we have students, uh, some wonderful students here, from some of our Catholic high schools that'll be walking around through the tables over the next few minutes collecting the pledge cards from you. The pledge cards, the, the pens, and the envelopes are on your table, so please take advantage of that. And we thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs>